Hi, I'm Will and welcome to another segment of Energy Tech. In this one, I would like to share with you more details about the solar system that we've got. We had our system installed uh, shortly after we acquired our electrical vehicle. And the thinking behind it was that the electrical vehicle was effectively moving our transport fuel spend from being us paying for diesel to us paying more for electricity uh, from our house because we were effectively planning to charge it overnight and that's uh, effectively the new regime that we've been in uh, since we've got that. The reason why it's important to state that is because prior to acquiring the electrical vehicle, our energy consumption per day was around 8 kilowatt hours uh, per day, which was, uh, I think, which comes to something in the region of 3,000 kilowatt hours per year. Now, with the electrical vehicle, we effectively tripled that, i.e. we were now looking to uh, around 24 kilowatt hours per day. And to put it in money terms, because that probably just makes more sense to relate to, uh, before electrical vehicle, we were using around 400 pounds worth of electricity per year. And this is uh, at around you know, paying around 13 or 14 kilo uh, pence per kilowatt hour. And with the electrical vehicle, that then shifted a, a stage from 400 to 1000. So an additional 600 pounds on top. Now, that's okay, because we were saving more in terms of the reduction or, or the removal of the diesel uh, that uh, my wife was having to pay to fill her car every month. Now, so that was the first part of the equation. So now that we were spending more on electricity, that then effectively created an opportunity to say, well, actually, we could, there are further things we can now do to reduce the overall electricity bill. And the first thing we did was uh, look at EV friendly tariffs. So we are currently on a tariff call by a company called o Octopus Energy. Oh, got a bug on me. Ooh, I was just sat outside, that's why. <laughs> um, so uh, what was I saying? So we are with Octopus Energy and we're on their tariff uh, called Octopus Go. And Octopus Go will charge us around 14 pence per kilowatt hour during the day. But between half past midnight and half past 4 a.m., uh, that period, we get charged 5 pence per kilowatt hour. And effectively, that's the zone that we've been targeting, or at least we've actually programmed our Nissan Leaf to charge only between those hours. So that's a market impact in terms of further reducing the benefit of, uh, sorry, further increasing the benefit of uh, driving uh, an electric vehicle. So this is the car that my wife uh, uses. Now, the additional thing that we then did on top of that, which was the main point of this video, although I've spent a bit of time talking about other things, is um, we then thought actually solar is something that's worth looking into. And after a bit of research, we worked out that, you know, we felt that it was wor worth it for us and it's something that we wanted to do. And the system itself comprises of 18 panels which are 325 watts each. So as a total, the system is, uh, I think, 5.8 uh, kilowatts peak. Uh, however, those panels are split between two faces, uh, one at the front of the house and one at the back. The back of our house faces northwest, no, got that wrong, northeast, whereas the front faces southwest. Now, we decided to go for both options, but we maximized the number of panels at the front because that's the one that gets the most radiance from, uh, from the sun. So the bulk of our generation is being, um, uh, is being uh, generated there. And the back does actually give us uh, some work too, because particularly now at this time of the year, spring going into summer, as the sun moves across uh, its horizon, it actually loops right back uh, to the other side of the house. So, you know, you can see it from, from that side and the panels in the evening uh, at the back do, you know, start to see a significant amount of generation too. The panels themselves are Trina, Trina Honey 
Sola, Sola, I need Trina, uh, Trina, everyone knows Trina, um, so they're a reputable brand. I can never remember which way around to say uh, <laughs> the actual name of, uh, of, of these panels. But um, we did look at a whole range of them, so sun power can generate up to 400 watts per panel, which is amazing. However, uh, you pay more per panel, so uh, the calculation we did was to look at um, kilowatt hours or oh, kilowatt per pound and also ultimately kilowatt hours per pound spent on the panels themselves and then we worked out that given the amount of generation we're actually able to achieve over the course of a year um, the cost benefit lay with this particular spec uh, in terms of just the balance of, of cost there but otherwise you know was money not an object we would have gone for the 400s because it's amazing that uh, a single panel can generate that much and I've been reading the press as well that actually uh, there's some research that suggests that some panels are on the horizon that can do even more than that which is really really amazing and um, in terms of the rest of the system, so those are the panels and we have also got a, a battery, battery storage. So our battery uh, stores 8.2 kilowatt hours. But the important thing to note is 8.2 kilowatt hours is not the usable amount because it's got a depth of discharge that sits as a band within that. So the actual usable uh, amount of energy within this battery is uh, 6.5 kilowatt hours. It is a battery by a company called Give Energy and it came with a hybrid inverter. So effectively it's an AC coupled system that we've got. So uh, what that means is the sun hits our panels, uh, the panels then uh, feed that DC energy uh, through an, an inverter and uh, the one we've got is a solace inverter. That uh, inverter converts that DC into AC current. That AC current is then available for the house and any loads in the house to uh, to use including if we were to plug in the car that energy you know uh, is energy that the car could actually draw off now to store that energy uh, let's say all the load you know let's say um, the solar panels are generating um, uh, you know sufficient to feed everything in the house that excess is then needs to get into the battery somehow so now this is where the battery inverter comes in because it then converts that AC energy into DC energy for storage in the battery and then uh, once the battery is full and then in the middle of the night let's say or in, in the evening if we needed to uh, cook something with the oven when we switch that oven on we've got no solar so rather than taking energy from the grid uh, what the system does is it then pulls energy that was stored in the battery uh, through that battery hybrid inverter by converting the DC back into AC and then it makes it available uh, for us to use in the house. Now when the battery is full and all the loads in the house are fully satisfied if we've got additional solar during the day that is exported uh, back into the grid uh, it's something that I'll talk about a bit more in another you know in another seg segment so we've got something called an uh, a seg uh, arrangement with a company called bulb where they pay us uh, an amount of five pence per kilowatt hour for exporting um, into the grid. This is something that anyone can do. Others who qualified for fit in tariffs, uh, which closed, uh, I think around April, 2019, uh, had a more lucrative arrangements, let's say, uh, which was which was stopped. Uh, however, this is now what's in place. And uh, I think all suppliers with over 250,000 customers are obliged to offer a SEG tariff of some sort. However, they set their own price. So, you know, if this is something you were looking into, you'd need to just work out who's offering the the most and perhaps payment terms that suit uh, you know what your needs are so for more information on that and uh, more around this topic i will also link my website at the bottom where i've listed a few of these details so that you can follow it all in a more methodical pace and the website is energytech.co.uk energy spelled with an e at the front with a three instead of an e at the front 
and I'm just trying to think what else I could tell you about my system. So um, we've got a give energy battery. I think I've mentioned that. And I will also uh, do another video where perhaps I go into a bit more detail about about that and how that works and the benefits of that. Now, in terms of uh, the solar, as we've gone into this into the springtime, I think we've only pulled and I, I will check this and confirm for you. But uh, we've only pulled around five kilowatt hours off the grid we've imported five kilowatt hours only ever since we've had solar partially the reason for that is because of this lockdown that we're in at the moment means actually we haven't been driving the electrical vehicle that much so which means um yeah we have you know all the energy we are using is literally to just run appliances uh in the house and the solar has pretty much achieved all of that so long as we stagger our loads so that uh we're not uh you know exceeding the the peak maximum draw uh, that the system can cope with but yeah we've managed to manage around that so i will also try and bring all this into it as well but if you've got questions please let me know because that will perhaps help direct exactly what it is that i share and hopefully that's uh that can be a bit more meaningful as well but uh yeah do check out the website for more information and uh yeah for now i'll say yeah thanks for joining and speak again soon Bye for now.